All right, let's get this here. Today we're gonna to be talking about batteries, more specifically camera batteries and why you should kind of stick with um, the actual camera, the brand batteries instead of going for like a knockoff, which I kind of found out about just like the other week of why you should do that when I was kind of shopping for batteries. So I'm just gonna set this guy up and we're gonna get really into it. All right, so now that we got this all set up, actually, let me just do this. All right, so now that we, am I framed in? All right, so now that we got this all set up, let's just talk about right away, the first reason why you should buy actual Sony batteries or Canon batteries or whatever brand your camera is over a generic kind of brand. This guy here, you know, is made specifically for your camera and that it's gonna work perfectly with your camera and it's gonna last you. These guys are built to last. They're tested quality wise and performance wise to last you compared to a kind of knockoff brand, which is pretty much just to look like this. Yes, it'll work the same way at the start. This can last you, let's say like seven years. I'm just pulling this number out of nowhere versus you having a knockoff that might last you a little less. It's kind of like if you have a good brand like Duracell versus some kind of knockoff brand that I, don't, I can't think of one off the top of my head right now. You'll obviously pick the Duracell over the knockoff brand because that one's supposed to last longer. Well, it's the same thing for these guys here. You might be paying a bit more, but you know this guy's gonna last you. So that's my way of kind of thinking of it. Reason number two is that this is not gonna have any problems with your camera itself. There have been a lot of situations that I've heard of where, oh my God, where these batteries here, um, the knockoff ones, not, not the actual Sony ones, the batteries have, have kind of screwed up the camera's motherboard where normally what they would do is they would communicate how much battery life is left, how much charge is left in the battery to the camera. And that's how you see how much battery percentage you have left. But the thing is with knockoff batteries, they don't always work like that. Even with battery grips or anything that has to do with batteries, you don't want to kind of drift off to get a knockoff just because it's going to save you some money because of that one thing that might kind of destroy your camera so let's say you have an a7r2 like me that goes for around three grand more like more or less more on the more but that's about three grand are you really gonna cheap out for 40 bucks for a battery when you have a four thousand dollar camera i i don't think so like it doesn't make sense to me and it shouldn't make sense to you like i almost bought it i'm gonna be completely honest i almost bought a knockoff battery but then i spoke to the sony rep at my job and they told me that they've actually seen people come in with knockoff batteries and that was the reason why their camera had malfunctioned and all that stuff and they couldn't get the service because it was out of warranty. And reason number three is safety. You don't really know with any battery, let's be real, but you're kind of on the safer side by sticking to these guys here. What can happen with a knockoff battery is there is more risk in, let's say, it exploding or, you know, a fire or anything like that. And, you know, it's just another reason of just, is it really worth the extra kind of saving money? I don't think so. Personally, I really don't think so. So that's kind of why I chose to just bite the bullet and buy it extra Sony batteries of itself, like, come on, it's really not that bad, but like, I'm not saying not to buy knockoff batteries, I get it, it's great to buy cheap batteries and have them run, but I'd suggest to have a couple actual Sony batteries that you shoot with regularly, and then if you want to use some knockoffs, use it every once in a while, and just, you know, if you want to take the risk with the camera, go for it, but that's just what I think. You guys can do your own research, and then go off and do what you think is right. So those are my three reasons on why you shouldn't buy knockoff and I'll give you my one reason why you should because they're cheap and that's honestly just ho 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 you save the money there you buy yourself I don't know a gimbal or something or maybe buy another lens but I didn't do that it's up to you guys if you want to do it or not but um all right everybody that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I have an amazing episode episode I don't know what to call this. You know what? Let's just go with video. I have an amazing video planned for next week. Um, I'm getting a special delivery that I can't wait to show you guys and play with myself. So if you want to get the updates on that, just, you know, drop a sub and you're going to be able to see it as soon as I post it up. You know what? Drop a comment down below of what you think this delivery might be. And you know what? Maybe, maybe you'll get it right. And maybe, maybe you get a behind the scenes look at it. Who knows? Who knows? But if you want to see more behind the scenes and if you didn't get it right, Check out my Instagram, which is going to be right over here, I guess. Uh, I don't know where I'll put it. I'll just put it here then. 
uh, it's just gonna be there and if not I'm just gonna put a link down in my description I don't think I have anything else to say for today enjoy your batteries and I'll see you in the next episode episode video peace for this. God damn.